Great. So um, in, a in the previous sessions, we have had a discussion on multimedia uh, journalism and uh, storytelling, where we looked at how today uh, journalists are telling stories in different multimedia formats. And then we proceeded to, to new media thinking, seeing uh, how we can utilize different uh, platforms and devices to communicate better. So in this session, we want to reflect and see the evolution of media, where it has come from, and see how things are, are going forward so that we can better place uh, ourselves as journalists in this industry. So on the screen here, I have a picture of a car. You can tell us what a car is for. What is the use of this car? Members, what is a car used for? It's used for transport. For transport. For transport. Thank you. Yes, for movement. I uh, use a car when you want to go uh, somewhere. So just like this car, um, journalism or the media uh, are also can also be used uh, for movement. They take people uh, places. Even you as a journalist, uh, you wake up um, every time that you go to the field, you're collecting different information, and then you publish it. You're taking uh, people somewhere with your, with your content, with your what, what you're producing. And then uh, this car uh, can be... Oh, sorry, someone is saying volume. Um, am I not clear enough for everyone? Okay, let me proceed. Uh, so this car can be uh, stationary or in motion, okay? So you, it's, you need to decide um, what, where is your journalism going to be? Are you going to be uh, in one place or you're going to keep progressing? Okay, and this is the purpose of this session. How are you placing yourself uh, to see that you are moving in on the right pace uh, going forward uh, in journalism? And then um, looking forward, um, who decides, I want, to, I want to ask who decides where this car is going? Me. You, uh, you mean the driver? Because we have the driver here, when we have people in the, in the seats, passengers, even the owner of the car? Passengers, maybe. Passengers, yes. So it's important uh, as journalists, uh, you, you, you can be the driver here as well, but even uh, your, audience, your audience members, the people who access your content can also decide uh, on the kind of uh, content that you're going to be sharing. So it's important to consult across all different levels uh, from we shall be looking at later how you can get uh, different uh, story ideas from the internet and also knowing what uh, people are looking out for today. So it's important in your journalism practice uh, going forward, you're able to, to put all that into uh, perspective. I hope uh, that is clear. So we have uh, different mirrors uh, on, this, on this car, which um, could tell us the use of uh, is different mirrors on the car. Anyone to share? They are used by the driver to see what is behind them, especially in traffic or on the highway. That is uh, the side mirror, yeah? Yes. Was I asked? Okay, um, someone else to share with us. Someone has mentioned the, the side mirrors. Which other mirrors do we have here on the car? We have that mirror which is inside the car. We okay. shows the behind the behind part of it. All right, thank you. Someone else? Yes, members? Someone has mentioned the rear mirror, um, the side mirrors. Which other mirrors do we have here on the car?
Yes, members, are we there? Okay, I'll proceed. So someone mentioned uh, side mirrors and she said that it's important to have side mirrors because they help uh, to see what is behind, uh, where you're coming from. And it's important uh, in your journalism practice, you're able to reflect uh, on where journalism started from. And as we go forward, you're going to see that uh, in this session, we're going to look at how the media has evolved over time. So as a practicing journalist, you always need to know how the media has evolved. Then also, someone mentioned the other, the other mirror, which helps to look at the rear mirror, which is inside the car, to, to look at uh, your audience members, uh, the passengers in the car. So you always need to keep a close uh, lookout on uh, your audience personas, what they are searching for, the kind of content that they may be interested in. Then we also have this front mirror, uh, which is actually the biggest mirror. And this is the mirror that, uh, that helps uh, you to look forward. And that is the reason actually why it is the biggest, because it is going forward. So as we are talking of um, reflecting on how the, the evolution of the media, where it has come from, we should always uh, keep focused that we need to uh, progress and go forward. And uh, this, these are the kind of skills and mindset that we are going to be looking at uh, in this session and even in subsequent sessions. So um, this is a question to post to yourself. Where do you want your journalism practice focused? Is it where it has come from or where we are going ahead? So we need to look uh, going forward and know that uh, keep in tune with these different uh, media market trends as we go through this session. To beg to proceed. So now we want to look at the key trends in media. How has the media evolved? And uh, I would like to request one person to read for us uh, what is on the slide, first point. You can read what is on the screen. Key trends in media. Growth of regional media, rise of different types of of media outlets operating at different sub-national levels. Yes, so from this, uh, we can see that uh, today, um, media has evolved whereby we're seeing different media outlets at different sub-national levels. So if you go, let's say, to the Western region, if there, are, there are dominant uh, media houses that operate there. Uh, let's say, for example, Voice of Toro, uh, which, other, which other different uh, stations, media outlets, do we know that are regional? you can share with us. You have any other examples? If you went to the north, uh, there is Radio Pachis, uh, a toil Karamoja is based in, uh, that's in the Karamoja region. So you're seeing that at different uh, sub-national levels, there are media entities or outlets there that are able to provide information and operate there at full capacity. Then uh, going forward, someone to read for us this. Rise, uh, sorry, media conglomeration, rise of many big media companies owning numerous companies, involved in mass media enterprises, such as television, radio, print, online publishing, and motion pictures, among others. Yes, so today we're able to see that um, different media companies own other numerous companies involved also in mass media what? production. For example, if you look at Next Media Services, uh, you can see that they have uh, NBS under it, Sanyuka, Salam, Nile Post, uh, the same uh, case goes for Nation Media Group, uh, which owns all these different media, the entities of Daily Monitor, KFM, NTV, and as well as Vision Group. So this is one way of uh, seeing how the media has evolved uh, up to today. Next, someone to read for us this, what is on this slide. Someone... 
uh, globalization, the production, distribution, and consumption of media products on a global scale, facilitating the exchange and diffusion of ideas cross-culturally. Yes, so today we're, we see that uh, today information and content can be, first of all, you can access content uh, from different digital platforms from across the world. Uh, because uh, today uh, the internet has enabled uh, information and content access from wherever you are. So you can access content in any part of the world and you're also able to produce content for any section of um, across the globe. Because with the use of the internet, you can search on any topic. Uh, today, uh, things are even getting further advanced with uh, artificial intelligence like uh, chat GPT, where you can get detailed information on any topic and you're able to provide good context to it. And in terms of even distribution, uh, we looked at this in new media thinking, where the uh, these new media platforms and gadgets are enabling uh, you to distribute your content across different platforms and uh, with different devices. So furthermore, we want to uh, look at this, uh, someone to read for us the first point on print media. Print media. In earlier times, news was presented to local population through the printed press and the first continuous press was started there in 1704. Okay, you can proceed to next to popularity of radio. Popularity, popularity of radio. Radio news made its appearance in the 1920s, the National Broadcasting Company, NBC, and the Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS, began running sponsored, began running sponsored news programs and radio dramas. Okay, and lastly, growth and influence of television. television. Growth and influence of TV. Television combined the best attributes of radio and pictures and changed media forever. As on the radio, quiz shows and games initially dominated the television airwaves. Okay, thank you for reading. So as you can see, uh, how the media has evolved from uh, newspapers and then it continued further to radio. And as um, the last point here, so the television combined the best attributes of radio and pictures and changed the media forever. So this is how the media has been evolving and we can continue. Next, someone to read for us what is on this slide. Internet public publication target Targeted outreach, the invention of cable in the 1980s and the expansion of the internet in the 2000s opened up more options for media consumers than ever before. Users nearly anything at the click of a button bypass commercials and record, record recorded programs of interest. Social media engagement participatory media yes thank you so having seen where we came from from uh, press uh, printed press we have in newspapers radio uh, tv then it's later evolved now with the internet so with the use of the internet it changed uh, how the media in the landscape uh, uh, for the better because now people can access information from uh, different gadgets and even from across the globe so as we go further in different sessions, we're going to appreciate uh, the role of internet in journalism today and how you can leverage and use it as a journalist to ensure that you can create content on various uh, different topics and be able to distribute it to a global audience. Uh, so even in line with that social media, uh, which is very participatory, someone already mentioned this earlier, uh, new media platforms are more interactive because you can even get feedback in real time and you're able to engage as many people as possible, people are able to give you comments, to fact check your information. So this has also, see, we're also seeing this, uh, how today journalism and information and this is now more participatory uh, with 
the use of these different uh, platforms. Anything uh, that is not clear in regards to that as we proceed? No, everything is clear. All right. So according to uh, statistics uh, from the digital media landscape in Uganda, we are seeing that uh, the over overview, this slide, you can see the overview of the internet use. And as you can see here in Uganda, um, approximately we have 11 uh, million users on the internet. So this means that today uh, people are utilizing the internet a lot, getting information from there. So we need to also integrate this with our journalistic work. How are you using or utilizing the internet to ensure that you're producing content every day and it's being accessed by as many people as, po as possible across the globe. Then this also shows that uh, the internet users are, are growing each and every year. And I want to believe that um, even going forward, uh, this we're going to have more and more people are connected onto the internet because uh, we are seeing that, um, of course, we expect that internet prices will get lower to enable as many people access and even the use of uh, digital gadgets or devices that can access to the internet uh, can see progressively that more and more people will be having access to this gadgets. And this is uh, an overview of the social media use still in Uganda. So uh, here, uh, this was uh, best of Facebook, uh, 2.5 million, because if you see that uh, 11 million Ugandans are accessing the internet, then 2.5 on social media doesn't give a good um, estimate of that. So we have actually this number is even higher than 2.5 million. So this shows that more people are using social media today. So we need to be able to engage uh, with people on social media with our journalistic work to sustain conversation, drive engagement, and share as much content as possible. Then here are the key uh, digital media trends that uh, can look at. So first, mobile SMS and calls becoming the mainstream. Yes, we are seeing that more and more people are, have access to mobile phones. And this, uh, this means that we need to utilize on how we can reach as many people with a mobile phone. We shall be looking at uh, subsequent sessions on how we can do this. Then growing internet usage, we have just uh, the previous slides have uh, put that into perspective. How uh, the, uh, uh, more and more people are getting connected to the internet today. Then social media as well, how it is very participatory. And later when we have a session in uh, journalism and social media, we shall look, we shall go further to see and appreciate the way social media can complement journalism. Then data, uh, today um, a lot of information is accessed through data. There's a lot of data that is being produced by different entities, uh, companies. So as a journalist, you need to be able to, first of all, uh, uh, visualize data and also make sense out of it so that you can present it to people in a good consumable way and uh, it can be easily uh, translated across the globe for different internet users. Then we also have virtual reality, mixed reality and augmented reality. We shall have an in-depth uh, session when we come to the university on virtual reality. But um, if some of us have already witnessed this, uh, today you can scan, this is new vision, you can scan the code and you're able to read the paper off your gadget. So these are some of the new innovative ways today um, and how the media is evolving from where we have uh, begun from. Continuously uh, live streaming today information people want to access things as they're happening in real time. And this is why uh, you see that if you look at the evolution before uh, people would wait, uh, they go to let's say an event, they record things and then they take it back to the studio. Um, edit, make sense out of it and present it, let's say, in the news uh, later in the night. Whereas today we're seeing that uh, the gadgets that are there and even the technology can enable you to stream something that is, that is happening in real time and people are able to access it and even engage, give feedback and comment and share. Then we uh, also have podcasting. We looked at this in new media thinking. It's important as a journalist today, you're able to avail content uh, that can be accessed by people when and when, when they demand to, uh, so that uh, your information and content has a higher shelf life because once you avail uh, these files across the internet, people can always access them when, whenever they demand to. Then also we're seeing the rise of influencers. Um, 
these are people online with a huge following that are able to push uh, content, uh, to further market your content uh, to, to different brands and people of, of, of target and choice. Then, uh, of course, with the advent of social media and these different online media platforms, we're seeing that uh, it has created, enabled people to, uh, to be content creators from uh, where they are, but we're also seeing a rise in fake and false information. So as a journalist, you need to be able to, to fact check all the information that, that, that is being shared so that uh, you do not go on to share um, news which is false and mislead people. Then we're also seeing the rise of gaming. Today, uh, actually, we're seeing that, first of all, many people are interested in, in, in gaming. Today, people spend a lot of time playing these different games. And you can integrate this into your journalistic work of um, in terms of content access, you can put in some different games that make your content more appealing and interesting uh, to the user access of content today. So um, what does this mean for us as journalists? journalism students in an ever-evolving media industry. Quickly, what we have looked at uh, from how the media first evolved from newspaper up to where it is now. What are your reflections on this as journalism students? Hello, you can feel free to raise your hand or even share in the chat. Yes, hello members, what are your reflections on, on this evolution of media? Okay, Kangume says evolution of media. Okay, any other view? Anyone else with a different opinion that would like to share? Okay, I'll wait for them uh, in the chat as we proceed and finalize. Okay, Paula mentions it means that each time that passes, the media advances. Naira adds the way media started and how it's going from one stage to another. I think, according to the picture here, it shows the evolution of the communication how how communication used to 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 transform from from the old the print to the new so it also shows us as journalist students how to adopt the new forms of communication from the old ones thank you sampija more submissions in the chat uh, nagadia sumaya says we have to prepare for this changing media so that we fit in jemel says media improvement over the years Mastula, the development of media. Amina, it means that each state is better from the former. Thank you for sharing. You can keep um, sharing your messages in the chat, but I'm glad that at least you derive the concept of how today the media has evolved and how you should also keep realigning yourselves so that you are able to fit in an ever-changing and evolving media industry. So as we conclude, someone to read for us here. I want to read for us um, our last slide. As a spring journalism and communication professionals consider, sorry, sorry, sorry. As aspiring journalism and communication professionals consider the future of media, as it's aspiring clear. journalism and communication professionals consider that it's clear that new technology innovations will provide new business and career opportunities. The study of data will provide key insights and make business more competitive. The continued exploration of emerging technologies such as VR and AR, which well, sorry, will challenge, will change how we as humans interact with the digital landscape. 
It's great. Thank you for reading. So in summary, uh, from what we have uh, discussed over this session, it's important to place yourself as an aspiring journalist and communication professional with an ever evolving media industry, how you can fit in and be able to still uh, give out good content, distribute it, engage and sustain um, any form of engagement with your content. So drawing back to uh, the car, remember we said that we need to keep going forward, but also very important to reflect from where we're coming from. And I would like to appeal and request that we are always uh, researching, testing out different technologies, finding new ways of how you can uh, develop your uh, journalism profession and how you can be able to create content out there that is appealing and that can be accessed globally. Thank you. Uh, do we have any questions or submissions as we conclude? All right, if none, uh, thank you very much for your time and active participation. I would like to now uh, welcome the next facilitator, uh, Patricia, who is going to guide us through what 21st century journalism practice should encompass.